We recently looked at a video on how to correctly draw a parabola and so in this video we're going to practice that te technique. So we said that a normal parabola might look something like this and to correctly draw it the different parts that you would need would be that value over there, that value over there and that value over there. We said that if you want to find these two parts you need to be able to come to this equation over here and you need to be able to tell that equation something important about that part. So what do we know about those points over there? They're going through the x-axis and if you give it a, some careful thought you would realize that the y value at those two parts is zero because remember y tells you how high or how low your point is but those two points have not gone up or down because they are on the x-axis and so the y value at those points is zero. And so let's do this the proper way. So we said that to find the points on the x-axis we tell this equation that the y value there is zero and then you simply solve for x. So what we can do is take the 8 over to the left hand side and then we can divide by 2 on the left hand side so that you end up with 4 equals to x squared and then we need to get well what this is telling us actually is it's telling us what number can you think of so that when you square it you end up with a 4 and so what you can do is you can take the square root of 4 on the left hand side and that's going to give you 2 but what you must remember is when you take a square root you should say plus and minus 2 and let's see if that makes sense minus 2 squared that gives us 4 and 2 squared that also gives us 4. And so the number minus 2 and the number 2, when you square it, it gives us 4. And so over here, we originally had x squared equals 4. So it was asking us what two numbers can you, or what number can you think of so that when you square it, you end up with a 4. And we've just found plus 2, but also minus 2. And so the minus 2 will be this one over here. And the positive 2 will be that one over there. And so what we do is we write that down in coordinates where the x value is minus 2 and the y value is 0. Now we need to find the point on the y axis. Okay, On the y axis, if you give this some thought, you'll realize that the x value on the y axis is always 0 because remember x tells you how far left and how far, sorry, how far right and how far left. Now if you are on the y axis then your x value is 0. So we go to this equation and we say hey equation if your y value is, I mean, if your x value is 0, then what is your y value? So this whole part just falls away because 0 to the power of 2 is just 0. And then you're left with minus 8. And so we can go to the point on the graph where y is minus 8 and x is 0. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's that point over there. And now we are in a position to draw our graph. And so I'm going to do that so long. And so there we have our parabola over there. And then we must just give the coordinates here. We said that the x value here is 0 and minus 8. So just to summarize, to draw a parabola, you need the x-intercepts. How do you find x-intercepts? You make y equal to 0. Then you go to the equation. You tell the equation, hey, equation, the y value is 0. And then the x values will be solved. And then remember, there's always two of those x values for parabola. And then to find this point down here, you make x 0. So you go to the equation. You tell the equation, hey, equation, if your x value is 0, then what is your y value? And then you go and solve for y.